First tonight, he was a star high school football player when he committed the crime. When he's free, he'll be 44 years old. Greg Kelly will spend 25 years in prison after his conviction for sexually assaulting a young boy. Prosecutors and attorneys for the teenager reached a deal before jurors could come up with a sentence on their own. KXA's Angie Bevan was in the courtroom today in Georgetown for the emotional reaction. The outpouring of support from friends throughout his trial turned to an outpouring of emotions. Mr. Kelly, you are sentenced uh, to 25 years. And the 19-year-old's plea deal leaves him with no right to appeal. He says, I can go in for 25. I can still have opportunity to do something with myself. I think it speaks for itself, but we're... Uh, we're very satisfied. Late Tuesday night, the jury found Greg Kelly guilty of twice engaging in a lewd act with a four-year-old boy at an in-home daycare where Kelly was living at the time. A challenge for prosecutors. These cases are are very tough. You know, to, to try a case with two four-year-old victims is, is difficult. Um, but I think this case is proof that that they can be one. And a mother left with questions. Do I believe in justice? Yes, I do. Do justice been served here? No. In Williamson County, Angie Bevan, KXA News. Had the jury decided the sentence, Kelly's conviction carried a possible sentence of up to life in prison. Taking a look back now, this case reminded us of a high-profile case two decades ago. Dan and Fran Keller spent 21 years in prison for a crime they say they didn't commit, the ritual satanic abuse of children. In their first television interview since being released from prison, the Kellers told me earlier this year they were angry at the justice system. A jury convicted them on charges they abused dozens of children at Fran's daycare in Oak Hill in the late 80s and early 90s. This past year, a court ruled they did not get a fair trial, so they are out of jail on bond now, waiting to see if they'll be retried. The doctor who gave the only evidence of abuse in the Keller's trial recanted his testimony. 